there was a, a very, a very beautiful novel about uh, Italo Calvino called uh, the, Invis the Invisible Cities that was uh, very important uh, for me because I read uh, something about uh, a city called uh, the city of Andria where uh, he was speaking about uh, uh, the citizen and uh, they pay a lot of attention to everything that they made on their city because uh, they know that uh, everything that they made on the city it will be reflected on the sky. So this was for me a very important message uh, to understand uh, because I think that it is like a, a political but also a very poetical way to think to what we do on, uh, on our hearts. So I was uh, very, always very interested to see this kind of uh, reflection between uh, the cities and the sky starting from that uh, novel of uh, Italo Calvino. It's different every time because uh, I really use a video in a very domestic way. So uh, what, uh, what I start to do at the beginning is uh, to do a lot of drawings, uh, something uh, that I can uh, do everywhere, uh, very small drawings. Uh, and uh, it is like an exercise uh, of uh, reflection about something uh, that it appears in my mind uh, and it becomes like an uh, an obsession. So this is the, really the first part of, uh, of the work. And uh, when I finally can visualize what I'm interested to do and uh, arriving to the essential part of the image, I go on and uh, traveling and uh, trying to find place, uh, for example, in the video that you will see inside, I am trying to find the place where the light uh, can appear in a, in a special way because uh, I think that my work is made with light because the video is as li it is light that is projected on the wall and also it is the power and it is uh, something that for me is uh, still uh, really a mystery and it is the energy of, uh, of our planet and uh, of our systems and uh, so that one is a very important part uh, of, of my work. And uh, so usually I, I travel a lot, uh, trying to find, for example, uh, a city looked from above, where uh, they can be seen from a special point of view that I transform, and uh, they became like a, a stars, uh, like uh, the opposite of the stars. I like to think to the Earth uh, like uh, a star, that it is uh, again shining uh, uh, with his brilliant uh, small lights uh, against uh, the sky. So it's like a reflection between the sky and uh, the hearts. What do you mean about the video reflecting our place in the cosmos? You know, the, the, the projector is a simple uh, machine that project light. So I feel that as a projector again, it is a star. And if I move the projection, not on the wall, but on the, uh, on the sky, the light of my projection can travel in the sky forever. And probably will uh, we'll meet someone in the future, who knows? So it is like a message that travel. And this is a, what I what I really like of the video. So for me, the video is not to to tell a story. Is not to to do uh, something that I yet that I can translate, but I cannot translate what I'm what I'm doing because it's really just a message of light. Maybe if we could talk a little bit about this work behind us in mm -hmm. particular, satellite and you have layered architecture from a theatre? No, this is not a theatre. This is a church that it is uh, in a very big, uh, huge space uh, uh, near Torino. It's a castle made by a famous uh, Italian Baroque architect called uh, Juvarra and he made a lot of residence uh, around uh, the city of Torino. And this one is, uh, in this church uh, is called the Church of uh, Sant'Uberto and it is inside uh, uh, Regia di Venaria. That is a wonderful place. So I was thinking to do something that it was uh, uh, related to, to the cupola, 
because I think that uh, the cupola, of course, uh, has uh, again, uh, like architecture, has a, a, a strong relation with the volta, I don't know how to translate this, with the volta of the sky. So it's like something that the man was building, again relating to the view of the sky. And uh, I like the idea that these satellites uh, are inside, <laughs> so they are close uh, in, in a space that is, uh, of course, uh, on one side that it is limited by walls, uh, but in another side it can be open, uh, like uh, our mind, uh, to something different, uh, especially because of the, the, the Baroque uh, and uh, the art uh, try, of course, to, to be always uh, architecture, but also something that it is uh, um, not only in the architecture, but that can come through the architecture to, to reach something different. I mean, it's beautiful. The Baroque idea is very universal. It's mm -hmm. very kind of um, yeah. talking about this ascent almost to, yeah. to the heavens. Yeah. Awesome. And also the sense of the geometry of the Baroque for me, it was uh, very interesting. And also in the videos that are inside, for example, I was working about the oval that is uh, the orbit. So it, is a, it can be the orbit of the planet, it can be the orbit of our eyes. And uh, it, on one side, when you see to the architecture that I build inside the space, it is a very simple uh, uh, double screen projection with a corner between the two uh, projection. Uh, there, is a, there is a point of view that it is an oval, but if you move yourself, on one side or to the other side, the oval became a, a circle. So, of course, this kind of transformation of the orbits in a circle is again a part of uh, our cosmological uh, uh, view and uh, again a part of the Baroque and, uh, and uh, of our perception. One other thing that I like to do is to mix yeah. all the cities, to do a kind of Babel, like uh, uh, and so there can be a city like Florence or Rome uh, or uh, a lot of uh, different city. And I work on a layer of this city, trying to, to choose uh, some images that are, uh, that after I mount on, the, and on another one, uh, so the city disappear. And I think that uh, it is really what it happens in the history. And of course, I was working, for example, uh, recently again uh, about the city of Rome. But the city of Rome changed so much in the century, and I think that Perth will change also in the centuries. And so it is usually our sense of history that transforms the city. So when I work about the city, I like to mix everything and to create something that it doesn't exist. And it is a continuing, in my video, the city continue, continuously changed. Now, I think that in this uh, exhibition, uh, I discovered that there is a part that it is related to the city and uh, another part uh, of the exhibition that is uh, related to the sea and that there is uh, some works that are related to the sky and uh, so I wanted to, to use the, the image of the, ski, of, uh, of the sea like the city, like a brilliant materials, uh, uh, abstract materials. Uh, and, uh, and you will see a continent uh, also, look at from above, that you cannot recognize because uh, it turns around. And uh, so again, uh, the point of view of the satellite, uh, here you can see the satellite, and in another video, you will see the point of view of the satellite, look at to the Hertz. For me, one important thing, it was when I was young to see the moon landing uh, and uh, to think to the satellite, uh, like a point of view, like an eyes of someone that is a fr so far from everything, but uh, and it is uh, so lonely also because uh, the, the, peop the astronaut is uh, the most uh, alone person in the world, and in the same time he can see all the world. So I like a lot to have this kind of uh, reflection about uh, something that can be seen from so far point of view. I was interested to talk about perhaps the drawing aspect of it. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, they are very abstract. They are very, very, very simple and I can do them. Uh, I needed to draw a lot and uh, 
it's, uh, it's funny because they became like uh, uh, the negative of my videos because uh, I just made, for example, ovals on the paper and I tried to develop the idea, for, for, for example, for Atlante Rosso that you will see inside. And I just put, put on the paper some points that are like black point and black holes on the paper that it is white. And in the video, that one became white. So it's like a funny opposite. The drawing, where I put the black on the drawing, it will be the, the light uh, in the video. So it's uh, very, very simple, very... But uh, sometimes I show the drawings and sometimes uh, also the photographs. That is another part of uh, my works. Because uh, usually uh, the artists made videos and after they take a photograph for, from the video. I made the opposite. I started from the drawing and after I take photographs and after I build the videos. And sometimes I made a, a special uh, image for the and a special kind of elaboration for uh, the photographs. Uh.